Good morning, my beautiful friends. It's a bins day. All right, friends, it's time for our first cart check-in. It is 9.38, so I've been here for almost 40 minutes. They have not done any rotations. Um, here's my cart so far. I started out pretty strong, finding some pretty good stuff. And there's a lot of people today, so things are quite a bit picked over already. But some good bread and butter and then some interesting items to look up. I need to drink some water. ASAP. Stat right away. Almost everything I have on is from the bins. This sweatshirt with the hood, olive green, I got the bins. This is actually a men's um, Hollister, but I love this like Southwest Aztec print, right? Alrighty. Yeah, there's a lot more people today than usual for me. It's a Friday. Ooh, this is sticking right out. This is a really good brand. I think it's kind of an overlooked brand, or maybe I just don't hear about it a lot, but it's a very expensive women's clothing brand. All right, let's keep, keep at it. Friends, let's take one minute to talk about the sponsor of today's video, that is Prime Lister. What is Prime Lister? Prime Lister is a cloud-based Poshmark automation tool. So what does that mean? It means I can use Prime Lister to do all the things that I need to do in my Poshmark closet in order to make more sales. One of the questions I probably get asked on this YouTube channel the most is, Quimby, how do you do all the things. How do you have a full-time job, a 12-year-old son, and list 10 items every single day on Poshmark? And the answer is, I get help. I use tools like Prime Lister to automate and run in the background all the things I need to do to make daily sales on Poshmark. Let's take a quick look at some of the features that you can use Prime Lister to do automatically for you. So P Prime Lister will share your closet. They will do community shares. You can delete and relist items. And you guys, this stuff is very easy to set up. I can do it on my computer, my tablet, or on my phone. I'm super excited about the phone option because I can be anywhere and decide to send offers to likers or do share to a party. If I'm sitting in the school pickup line waiting to get my 12 year old son Torvald, I can decide to return some shares, um, follow new closets, all these things. I can also very easily set it all up to do it automatically at a certain day and time and quantity. Okay, so Prime Lister and I have an amazing deal for you today. You can try this app for free for 14 days. You don't have to put a credit card or anything in, you're not gonna be charged. I have a link in the description section that will take you over to Prime Lister so you can do a free trial. And for viewers on this channel, you can get 30% off your first month. Okay, you guys, I was just recording my Prime Lister um, clip for the video, and then I just made a sale on Poshmark for a pair of new tag Everlane jeans. I had it automatically set up for Prime Lister to send out 20% offers five minutes after uh, someone likes the item and it resulted in a sale. So that's how it works. I just love saying that. I have not been to the Goodwill Outlet bins in two weeks. I'm dying to go. I haven't seen anyone. I haven't dug through giant bins of pre-owned clothing. <laughs> I had got an Everlane Newid Tag pants box from Healthy Source. I got a hundred pairs. So I've been processing that box this week. It's been awesome. That stuff's selling so fast. I did a video about it in the past and it's my best selling box. Like the one I've made the most money on. A hundred pairs to process is a lot. And guess what? They were all black. <laughs> okay. I think my boxes from Helpsy Source might have arrived. <laughs> oh my god, that's... Boxes are taller than Torvald. <laughs> so I ordered 100 pairs of new with tag Everlane pants. There might be jeans in here or they might be all black. I can't remember what I decided on. Um, Helpsy Source is who I use for wholesale inventory in addition to my bins thrifting and everything. Is Helpsy Source perfect and are the boxes perfect? No. No, no, nothing is, but they are really good. I make a lot of money on these boxes. 
This will be easy because I'll find the different styles of the Everlane pants and then I'll probably get multiples and that whole thing. So 100 pairs of pants. When you order quantity like that, you get a discount too. So I think I ended up paying about $10 a pair. I do have a discount code if you want to check out Helpsy Source. When you go to check out, if you put the Grateful Queen, all one word, all caps, in the promo code, you pay the same price. You get a discount and I earn some credit. So I put that credit towards the boxes. So I really do appreciate anyone who uses my code. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right, we're going to go and dig through the bins. My bins is $3.49 a pound. I'm here in Northern California. It's raining again. We have had like a week of rain. Do I have any other curly girls in the house? <laughs> it's like I'm a curly haired girl and when it's just all day raining and misty, it's bad. Like I get frizz. Is that really important in the world? No, not really. But it's one of these things where I'm like, ugh, bad hair day for like a week. <laughs> all right, friends, welcome to the haul portion of the video. I'm going to show you everything I got at the Goodwill Outlet bins. My total was $150 for everything you're going to see. It's $3.49 a pound. Yes, that is very expensive for a Goodwill Outlet bins. And I'm still grateful because it's much less than my regular thrift stores and I think I'm finding really good quality stuff. I'll show you tags and I'll talk to you about why I chose to buy an item. Was it because it's an excellent fabric content or a great size or a fantastic brand or a really interesting style? I'll share all that with you. So I hope you learned something in the haul. Also, I will be inserting more clips from the bins and I usually throw in some other reseller related stuff, maybe a little what sold or a little unboxing or a little me going through my inventory. <laughs> so we'll keep things moving. I'm so happy and thankful that you're here. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you are subscribed. I found this amazing free people sweater in the very last rotation. I wasn't even going to stay. I was like, I'm out of here. I'm tired. I've been here forever. And I'm so glad I stayed because I got a, a bunch of good stuff in that last rotation. This says free people on this little bar, but the bar is falling off. Here's a little tip. I usually use my hot glue gun and just put a little dab right there. Pin that thing right back on. This is a super oversized, huge, this has got to be a large or something. Huge kind of beigey oatmeal oversized bohemian sweater. Free people sweaters do great for me. Um, it is a large. Great. The size is on the inside. And this is cotton. So that's fantastic. It's a little distressed, oversized boho, very free people-esque. I got some linen. I buy almost everything linen, you guys. Um, I love it when it's linen and it's a great brand, but linen is such a popular fabric, especially in the warmer months. I don't know this brand. It says Pure Collection. It has Euro sizing, but the US is six regular. So that looks like a pretty good tag too pure collection sometimes it takes my camera a little second there we go so these are women's trouser pants wide leg tan linen pants fantastic i got these for style but i have been noticing that i'm selling a little bit more gap and banana republic those are brands in the past i've intentionally stayed away from just because they're such popular brands that when someone's searching Gap jeans, I bet you they get like 500,000 hits. So there has to be something interesting about it that I can use special keywords. For these Gap, it's the style. The high rise wide leg. I'm filming this in the winter of 2024. High rise wide leg is so popular. Very wide leg, very retro high rise. These are a small size in a size 26. Cool color on those, almost like a terracotta. So that's like a style-based pickup. Did I tell you guys the bloopers are at the end of the video? They are. I just am about to make many bloopers because <laughs> I am a walking blooper. I love selling these maxi skirts. I pick them up regardless of brand. This particular style, elastic waist, and see, this is called tiered. See how there's like stitching or seams and it goes into several tiers? This one happens to be vintage. It's so cool. This is the brand KO California. Okay, but I will just put KO California women's size large maxi skirt 
tiered boho gypsy festival bohemian hippie I sell these skirts like crazy, just for like 20 bucks or something, but I always pick them up and they always sell. They do not last in my store. This is a line of REI that I'm picking up now. It's different. It says REI Co-op, okay? The REI Co-op line sells way better than REI. I think I got these in two colors in two different rotations, so we might see these again. High rise, like a thick legging. It's got some venting on the sides. These are a large. That REI co-op line is doing great. This I got for myself and mine, but if it doesn't work, I'll sell it. It's Lucky Brand, which has been selling great for me, the Peasant Bohemian Tops. This is a size large. It's a very thin, lightweight animal print cardigan. It has a little velvet where the buttons are um, and, and kind of cool looking buttons. I'm definitely a Northern California bohemian girl, and I love throwing in a splash of animal print. I like an animal print scarf or a little layer like that. This is Free People 1. I love Free People. I love this top. Look at this mustardy top. Peasant top for sure. It's got all this embroidery. See this tag for Free People? It's a circle, and it says FP. This is Free People 1. And it's usually more expensive, like in the stores. This is gauze thin, kind of a crinkly material. Love it, love it, love it. I don't know the brand on this, but I actually might even try this on. I always think of this gingham print as preppy, but this is so cute. It's a size six. Oh, maybe I'm not trying it on. <laughs> I'm double that size. Petal and Pup. No idea. I'm going to look it up, but the tag kind of looks boutique-y to me. It's a yellow gingham print dress, a tiered maxi with pockets. Oh, that just looks so great. I'm ready for summer. Oh, is this the other pair? No, these are Athleta size small leggings. There's the Athleta logo, and these ones are a wide leg, so I picked them up. I Athleta... Let me know how you guys are doing with it these days. In the past, it usually made my best-selling brand list, not because it sold for the most dollar, because it just sold consistently. I could pick up a pair of Athleta leggings and flip them for 20 bucks, $24.99 plus shipping. Uh, and nowadays it's like they go for 15 plus shipping. And I'm still okay with that at the bins because my cost of goods at the bins works out to be about $2. All right, friends, I should probably start sorting. I have not found a ton. Um, to be honest, this is it so far. Usually I do the very best in the morning. And I think I've got some good stuff in here, probably. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but um, these are cool. I just grabbed these out of the hard goods when I first got here. This is definitely a Bolo brand. I just looked these up. Looks like they're going for like $35 for a pre-owned baseball cap hoping I didn't have to wash them or anything. They look pretty good. There's two of them. So that that's like a pretty good score right there, right off the bat. I just want to share this with you. I have to pass on this item, which is very unfortunate, but I pick up almost any overalls. Well, they have to be kind of like a boho, wide leg, linen, tencel, something. But overalls do great for me. These are a wide leg, tencel, lyocell, like overall jumpsuit. This is the brand, which is pretty decent for like boho stuff. But these just have too many stains on them. But keep your eye out. I've sold so many like size large, extra large overalls and linen and stuff. Kind of an organic-y, natural look. So, all right, they're about to do another rotation. Everybody lines up. They do it every 30 minutes at my bins. Um, 
some people skip it because there is kind of like, you're not supposed to run, but there's definitely like a charge to the new bin, so not everybody is up for that, but I do it because that's how I find the best stuff is to be one of the first people at the bins. This is a great boho brand, it's Habitat. And these are a very light, lightweight, pull on blue and white stripe wide leg pants. When I list the brand Habitat, I put usually lagging look, boho, bohemian, hippie, all those, all those words, because that's the customer for that brand. <gasps> Love this! Oh God, free people is so oversized, you guys. <laughs> Oh no, this isn't free people, it's Jess and Jane. <laughs> this is a good plus size uh, boho -y brand too. It's a 3X, awesome. Doesn't this look like free people though? I, I, don't, I, I don't know if it's oversized because it's a 3X, but I would wear this as an oversized top, really burnout thin material, asymmetrical hem with some side slits, love it. That's funny. This is an older Anthro brand. It's 11 Z's. I don't know what's up with this brand, if it's still being made, if it's still carried there, but this is a crop black blazer. And you get that great pop of a lining, and then it's got almost like a little fringe on it. That'd be so great for work. It's a size medium. This is a boys Ralph Lauren polo. I pick up almost all Ralph Lauren polo, but particularly the kids does well, you guys. People pay for this stuff, it's expensive. This is a size medium 10, 12, and it's a full zip classic sweatshirt for kids. Levi's 501s, I pick these up. I was looking for Levi's 501s for my partner PD for Christmas. They are so expensive, even on the secondhand market. Amazon was carrying them new. They were like $75 at Christmas time. I was looking on eBay. People are charging a lot for 501s. Not all Levi's are created equal. These are a very small size. They're Levi's 501s. I think they're like a 28, 2830, 2630 men's Levi's 501s. Button fly, classic black. It'll say 501. You can tell the style name of the Levi's. There's a number right there. There's other ones that do well for me. 515s do pretty well. So if you see Levi's for men, you can um, Google the style and see if that particular style sells well. This is a very expensive brand. It's Lafayette 148. And this is a gorgeous piece by the brand. This has never been a fast seller for me. They make high-end career wear. This is such a cool blazer. Oversized navy blazer, and then look at the sleeve. The sleeve has this really interesting detail. This jacket retailed for hundreds of dollars. It's hard to pass at the bins because it's so expensive, but I'd be surprised if that was a, clip, a quick flip. That's probably more of a long tail item. Love this Madewell. I still love the brand Madewell. It just doesn't flip as well as it used to, so I'm selective, and I wanted this piece for sure. So romantic. A white uh, peasant top with a ruffle puff sleeve. It's got embroidery, it's got crochet. What I'm hoping it doesn't have is stains. <laughs> it is hard to do quality check at the bins. I'm working harder to be better at the quality check. Um, it's, it's dim lighting. It's like practically like, it's like a warehouse that my bins are in, but I looked this baby. I looked especially under the arm for armpit stains. You see a lot of that in white. I'm going to steam this up and it's going to look fantastic. Now I'll have my water and I'm so proud of myself because I brought my water over here to the filming area. Okay, this is Daniel Rain. How do you guys do with this brand? It is sold at Stitch Fix. I find it new with tags with the Stitch Fix tag often. This one happens to be a 2X and new, so that's a no-brainer for me to pick up. Look at that beautiful print, and then it has all this lace detailing. I like Daniel Rain. They're great blouses and tops for work. 
This is a brand I looked up in the store because I wasn't familiar. It's the Main Street Exchange and comps looked decent. The reason I wanted to get this is because it's a pencil skirt and it's made of linen and it has this elastic waist. Pencil skirt, a true pencil skirt is straight all the way down to the knee. It's not an A line, it's not a mini skirt. The pencil goes all the way down. This is a true pencil. Olive green, has pockets, has lots of wrinkles. <laughs> I will steam that baby up and it won't have wrinkles and I promise you I'll make it look good. This is a men's Prana shirt. I love selling the brand Prana. Prana is a brand sold at stores like REI. It has sort of a yoga focus, but a lot of the outdoorsy people wear it as well. This is a size extra large, men's button down, outdoor hiking yoga type item. It is expensive. If you wanna educate yourself, go into REI or look at the REI catalog and see what brands they carry, like Cool, Patagonia, Prana. They have their own lines like REI Co-op. Those brands are quite expensive in the store, so. Okay, one of the themes today at the bins, there's usually a theme. <laughs> today it was men's blazers. I don't know if the Goodwill says, okay, let's take this entire rack of men's blazers and bring it to the outlet, but there were tons of them. I was selective because I don't love selling blazers. I don't love taking all the measurements. It's just not what brings me joy. However, I, I think I have like three of them in this haul. I bought this one because it's a linen blazer by Eddie Bauer. So it's a popular name and it is 100% Belgium linen. It's also a larger size. To sell blazers, I mean, there's a way to do it really well to know all the keywords of the styles. I will look that stuff up. But a blade, a large size, 100% linen blazer, I think is a good pickup. People will wear these a lot to summer weddings and things like that. I did check comps on that. They were going for around $50. However, it is winter. If I check the comps in spring and summer, I'm probably going to see that more linen blazers are selling and possibly for more money. This is a 100% linen pottery barn. Uh, I think it's either a tablecloth or a sheet. I love picking up linens. Some of my best sales in 2023 were linens. Just Google the name, pottery barn. I think it's a tablecloth. So yes on that. I like this haul, you guys. I had so much fun at the bins. Um, when I go, there's often many of the same resellers and they go like every day or five days a week. I go once a week or once every two weeks. So I just love seeing everyone and talking. Such great people. I love learning from them. It's so fun. This is the brand Solitaire, which I like. They also make boho -y things, lots of peasanty tops. This is Solitaire. It's a size large and it's a beautiful velvet top. Gorgeous brown and rust colors, a little bell flare sleeve on it. Really, really pretty. More linen, what a surprise. <laughs> do you guys find as much linen as I do? I don't know if it's because I'm in Northern California or are all of you in all the different states are my friends in Montana that leave me comments. They're in Montana and Michigan and I'm complaining about it being 40 degrees in California. I'm all bundled up and they're like Quemby. It's like below 30 here. I'm like, I feel bad. <laughs> Do you guys find tons of linen? I pick up almost everything. This is Joie. It's a size extra small. Joie is sold at Nordstrom and stores like that. It is quite expensive. They do have a diffusion line that's J for Joie. So that one's not gonna be worth as much. Linen jogger pants, wrinkly. <laughs> If it goes down to an elastic ankle like this, it's called a jogger. So that's a keyword that you want to be using, jogger. Oh, you guys, I found this NYX bra. In my last haul, I also found a NYX bra. It sold for $35 on Poshmark within a few days of listing. So this is a bra brand to look out for. NYX wear, NYX. Okay, they do like these seamless comfort bras. They have their own sizing. This is a seven. 
So I love buying and selling bras, especially at the bins. They're so lightweight, they cost me very little. And um, they should be clean, they should be damage free, um, excellent or new condition, and I sell a lot of them. This is another Eddie Bauer 100% Belgian linen, and it's a size 46 tall. So similar to the other one, but a little tip. Oh, this isn't the gold button one. I think I have another one. If you find the navy blue blazers with the gold buttons, maybe it's this one. Those are very classic, and it ups the value to have the gold buttons, like this one. See how this is navy blue, and it has the gold buttons? Those do better. This is Orvis, made in the USA. So now I have to deal with blazers. Now, I think I'm just gonna put them on a hanger on my white wall. That's how I do most of my photos. Certain items I will do on the mannequin because they look so much better on the mannequin. I think it's worth the extra time. And I have to do all sorts of measurements for those. Chest, waist, arms, you know, it's, it's a, it's a different world, the blazer world. <laughs> but when I sell those and make the good profits, I'll be happy. This is a free people jumpsuit. I just sold one of these. This one has, has to go through the wash. There is some stuff on it, so I apologize. This is a free people, size small, but wait till you see how big this thing is. This is a relaxed, loose fit jumpsuit. It has a hood. I will find a stock photo for this baby. Yes, I will use the stock photos. Goes down to a jogger. I will find out the style name and I'll find a stock photo to get the name and the fit of this. I can find the number on the material tag inside this Free People, the style OB number, and that will help me a lot. Hey friends, I'm interrupting your video because I'm in my inventory storage area and I'm pulling a little shipping. So I thought I would show you a few sales. I get most of my stuff at the bins. I'll try and let you know if it's otherwise. All right, I just pulled this orange silk tunic top. It's by the brand Otte, O-T-T-E. I got this in a mystery box. I've had this for like two years. I had it marked at like $50 because it's like a designer brand. It's a really good but I don't think it's a well enough known brand. So this just sold for $20 plus $5.99 shipping. Happy to see it go. When I did the purge, I went through each bin and said, oh wow, I've had this Audi top for like two years. Let me go into the listing. Let me make sure the pictures are okay. I have good item specifics, all that. And then um, I reduced prices. I did whatever I needed to do to clean up the, the uh, listing. So that sold. Another thing that sold, I just got, it's going to be in this, it's going to be in this bin, tops large with a print right on top because I just listed it, parsley and sage. I use the keywords boho, lag and look, artsy because this is like a cowl neck tunic. I think this sold for $24.99 plus $5.99 shipping. I have a scarf to pull. I love picking up scarves at the bins because they're light. That'll be over here miscellaneous bin um the brand is lay and luca and it's sold at anthropology and i found it new with tag l-e-i-g-h and luca and this sold for twenty dollars for a scarf and this is just like a few ounces so that's pretty good i like the scarves that i pick up to have name brands if possible if it has an amazing material content like alpaca or something maybe i can sell it without a brand, but it is really helpful to have that brand on there. This is a Victoria's Secret pre-owned little nighty dress, black. I think it was the Pretty Little Things line. I picked this up at the bins. I pick up Victoria's Secret bras. They usually sell for $15. This sold for $25. It was like a little dress. So um, I pick up that. That's the stuff in Victoria's Secret I'll still pick up. Poshmark, $25. Okay, I, I sold a sweater. I keep my sweaters in these huge bins on the top because the top's the only place that the huge ones fit. So I just pull this down. There's not tons in here anymore since my purge, so that's amazing. And it's right on top. I love it. I love it. This is the brand Yoon. Y-O-O-N. Never heard of it, but it um, was a great material content. It's a cardigan. It just looked quality. Then when I came home and researched it, um, it was sold at Anthropology. 
$24.99 plus $8.49. Got it at the bins. Weighs less than a pound. This might be a pound or a little more, but the Victoria's Secret 90 is probably four ounces. So I just do $2 an item. All right, that's just a little bit. Nothing too crazy with sales, but I want to show you the real stuff too. I'm doing a lot of $15, $20 sales. It works for me. Peter is making me very nervous out here in my inventory storage area. He's measuring things. And I've asked him, why are you measuring things? And he's just so smiling like this. And I do feel like he is up to something and invading my territory. What are you writing there? All the sizes of <gasps> all the uh, shelves. And Why would you do that? And all the dimensions of the garage. Oh no. I don't like the sound of this. It, it, it smells and sounds like change, which I do not like. Organizing for efficiency. Oh, so much for people. I love it. This is another free people top. This one's a size medium. And it's got this cutout detail. And then a little peplum hem. It goes in and out and then out again. Little ruffle peplum hem. So cute. Love that. Very feminine style. I love linen tops. I wear a lot of these ones. This is poetry. This brand does so good for me. I wish it found it more often. Simple tag, right? Poetry. I just listed a poetry blazer. This is a linen striped top. I love those linen-y tops. Why am I going quickly? Because I have a lot of stuff to show you. This was in someone's throwback pile. I'm like, thanks. Why are you throwing that back? Pill Crow. Pill Crow. These are awesome, okay? Here's the brand, Pill Crow. They usually have a style name in there, so let's look and see if this Pill Crow does. These are a size 28. And here's the OB number, similar to Anthropology, Free People. I don't know if these are like watercolor or what. They're almost like a cargo denim. They come down to a cuff. I'm gonna come closer so you can see the print. What the heck? It's like a watercolor painting. They're absolutely gorgeous. These are a very current piece, a very modern style. With these type, I don't know what these are called, these type of pockets where it's like they go low down. Maybe I'll look up that keyword. These are really, really cool. Love them. Love them. This is something I bought for style because I don't know this brand Arise. It might be vintage. This is a linen jacket and I'm gonna use the keyword lag and look. These are called frogs, I think. These like Asian inspired buttons. Now, this has things going for it and I just wanna use the keyword lag and look. It's asymmetrical, it's boxy, it's linen, it's oversized, it has a cool sleeve. Look at this cool detailing by the pocket. So, I don't care about the brand so much because I'm going to list this and say, Arise, woman's linen jacket, asymmetrical hem, lag and look, layering, boho, boxy. Like all the keywords that that community of lag and look, artsy, dressing, bohemian women like. This is a new tag Chantel bra. Yes, this is a good bra brand, Chantel. New with tag 34 D, 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 D. I was going to say triple D. What is it if it's four quadruple D? <laughs> 40, no, 34 quadruple G. That is a lady who is looking good. Because 34 is not that big. Anyway, <laughs> do you like my commentary on that? Jeez. Another boho lag and look brand, Uru. You are you. You can tell from that tag. It's silk. It's a textured silk women's top with side slits, lightweight. I, it might be periwinkle. You know that color that's sort of blue purple? Another free people top. What is this tag? This must have been at some sort of boutique. Free people. This is like or a consignment store. They wanted $8.50. Cute little free people top. What is that, like peacock feather print? 
classic free people stuff. This is an older piece. Free people size small. Printed right on there, but this is linen and it has a little tie. Kind of gives me Y2K vibes, honestly. Y2K is the 2000s. Another free people top. <laughs> it's funny because a lot of you will say Quemby in the comments. I don't ever find free people here. I just don't find a lot of free people. And I find a lot of it, and I love it so much. Can I mention my entire outfits from the bins right now? <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but I, this is a men's Aztec flannel, and I'm like, I love that. And then I have this hoodie underneath, an olive green hoodie, also from the bins. You guys have probably seen these in my hauls. <laughs> I love it. Another Free People Thermal. This one has a boat neck. Super duper oversized, distressed balloon sleeve, thermal top. I bought this for myself or to give away. It's a gorgeous linen towel by somebody called Couteau Nature Paris. No idea. Isn't that pretty? That's very pretty. It looks brand new though, so I wonder if I should put it in my gift pile. That's never been washed or anything. We are not even. We're about halfway through. <laughs> You're the best for staying with me. Thank you so much. This is Cloth and Stone. Another expensive brand. It does sell for me. I just don't list it very high. This, this brand retails high in the stores, but the resale on it's never been great. So honestly, I'm probably going to get $18 or $20 for this button down. I like that little detail, that little knotted front detail. This I got for myself. It's Splendid. Another brand that retails for a lot, but the resale on it's not great. Splendid. I'll pick it up, but I love this for myself. Loose fit, like whisper thin. And then it has a little like accent there in the front. So far, this is the only thing in the Quemby pile. Are you guys proud of me or what? Because usually <laughs> I'm doing a haul and I'm like, this is for me. Oh, this is for me too. <laughs> which is not good reselling. Sell your items, make the money, don't keep it. But I keep it. <laughs> Did we do it? One giant Ikea, huge pile up to my waist. That's only half of it for $150. And now we have this one. Okay guys. That might sound like a lot because maybe when you go to the store you only get like 10 things and you're paying $5 an item. So that's 50 bucks and you're like, wow, 150 sounds like a lot. But for the quantity that I'm getting, it is not. Hannah Anderson, cute little top. Amazing expensive kids brand. I pick it all up. And if I don't think I can get $15 for the one item, I'll lot it up with some other items to get more. This is a J. Crew size large. J. Crew gauze peasant tunic. This is very beach resort vacation y. When the cotton is so thin that it's almost sheer, I use the keyword gauze. And I will put, like in, in my keywords for this, I will put resort wear, vacation, pool. Oh my god, these are so cute. <laughs> Little star print, sweatpants. Who do you think made these? Red with a pink heart, a pink star. They do look like they could be Hannah Anderson, but they're mini Bowden. Love selling mini Bowden. This is expensive. I love selling any Bowden. Mama Bowden, mini Bowden. These are a size four, four T. Ooh, another linen towel. Beautiful floral linen towel. Do you guys pick up all this stuff for yourself when you're out thrifting? I do. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, give me a pom-pom. Give me a pom-pom and I'm a happy girl. <laughs> Heavily embroidered with a pom-pom trim. Oh, this almost looks like a pinafore. And it's new with tag. Black label J. Crew. Black label's better. $98, but guess what? It was on sale for $69.99. That's what I'm always trying to tell you guys. The black label J. Crew. I'll show you the label. This label. 
This label, the black label, is more expensive. So, you know, I think about that. Although this, totally cool piece. This is not as expensive. It's even got those little dots, which means it's factory. I don't really care. Like, I still picked this up and I didn't say, oh, it's factory, should I get it? Because this is an awesome style. It'll sell fine, but this, I love that neckline too. That is so great. That was in one of my, the last rotations. Here's All right, here's the state of the cart. The state of the cart at, I think it's 10.30 or 11.30, let me check. Oh. 11.15, so I'm gonna do at least one more round. This is the stuff I'm taking. I always try and fold it up and put it in the bag. This is the stuff I need to still sort through, and then this is my maybe pile. If I have a good day, I usually get rid of the whole maybe pile, but we'll see. This is good, this is free people one. It's a little bit different label. See how it's a circle and it says free people one? In the stores, the free people one is more expensive. Free people has so many lines. Oh my God, I love this. It's like a mustardy green with all this embroidery. Yes, that's a definite yes. Some random stuff in here. So we'll go through and take a look. Petal and Pup. Never heard of it. If you guys, I'll look it up. That's kind of a cute gingham maxi. Might be just be boutique, but that's super cute, right? This is one of my sad finds of the day. This is a really cute open knit long sleeve sweater by Prana. That's the logo. I'll show you the tag. But it looks like it has some kind of discoloration on it. Like at the neckline here, it sort of looks like maybe it got washed with something red. And I don't think that's something I would be able to get out. So sadly, I have to pass on that one. I might keep this Lucky Brand cardigan for myself. I, I like a little pop of animal print. But it says it's a large. I've been buying all the Lucky Brand peasant tops again, you guys. So they've been selling great. All right, let's look through my go back pile, shall we, for a little education. So, Madewell jeans, let's talk about it. I used to pick up these and I used to sell them. Now I'm very particular with the style. They used to be a bolo and they are no longer. This is the 10 inch high rise skinny. So I'm gonna pass on these, even though they're a great wash but um, the, the skinnies don't do well for me anymore. This I would have gotten, it's Athleta, size medium, and it's like a Sherpa Teddy, but it just has two, it doesn't look good enough. I mean, somebody could bring this back to life, but it's not going to be me. These are some REI base layer. I have to put back the Margaret O'Leary, which is so sad, because it's such an expensive brand, but this one is all stained on the front, but definitely keep your eye out for the tag, this tag. I've done pretty well with that. This is J. Crew, and it's so cute. It's an XL, so I was interested. It has a lobster graphic on it. Super, like, seasonal. But, um, it doesn't look like it's in good shape. So all this is going back. And then I have to do the part that I hate the most, which is the maybe pile. <laughs> which means I either need to look it up or just not sure whether I can get, like, my goal is to find things that I can list for, like, $20. Here's another one of these maxi skirts that I pick up. I love this one because it's so thin. I don't know this brand, Sarah Arizona. Doesn't sound like a good brand. Size large, but it is a tiered maxi. That same boho. I love that it's black with the floral. Isn't that print gorgeous? Like this will sell with those keywords. People look for these full. Are you there? <laughs> I know my hair looks weird today. Uh, it's Saturday morning. I got all this stuff yesterday. I took my son to soccer. And I'm like, um, the hair is going in clippies because I don't feel like doing it. <laughs> and I need this inventory. Uh, as, again, it's like I need stuff to list. Jealous of all of you who say you have money death piles because I'm like, I, I have a box of things that needs work, if you count that. Like, needs a button, needs a hole. That stuff just slows me down. But I don't have like stuff ready to list. These are just belts. I found these in a bin. I could not find any dress or anything that they went to. I would never steal a belt 
from a dress or something that I thought someone might really want this dress or robe and they're gonna want the belt but these were just in there and I save these because a lot of times I find dresses or robes and I don't have the belt so I'll throw one on and I'll say not the original belt do you guys do that this is a Chico's linen jacket in a size 3 and 3 is an extra large I'll list it as Chico's 3 and then I'll put XL really pretty kind of a, a neutral taupe color linen jacket button front and look at these colors my favorite colors like turquoise and stuff would I wear this I'm always thinking for my other job I'm a psychotherapist so I wear like somewhat professional bohemian clothing <laughs> I'll still wear jeans or something but I, I put a nice blouse on or something okay I hope this fits me but I don't know if it will it's Banana Republic size large it's a wrap top oh, it's so beachy romantic because the white is so thin the cotton is so thin I'm trying to get you to get on get into this vision that I'm having of the romantic top it's got embroidery here it's a true wrap see what I'm saying so it has the ties and you're going to wrap it around. I do not know if I'm showing you in any way <laughs> how great this is, but it's a lightweight, thin, white wrap top from Banana Republic in a large. So good. I love a good kimono, do you? A good kimono swim cover-up. I sell them, especially in the larger sizes. A lot of women, I hate to say it, it's like they don't like their arms anymore and they want to wear something but they want to cover their arms or they're more modest. This is a black floral kimono. I sell so many kimonos in the nice weather. Let's take a look at this baby because it's got a nice cut. This I bought for style because the brand is Jealous Tomato which I don't think, I think it's sold at like TJ Maxx and stuff. I like the brand. Pretty cool, right? That is beautiful. Or like when I go to Mexico, I have a bunch of these because when I get up and I walk around the resort, I just feel more comfortable throwing on a little layer. This, oh, flying tomato, not jealous tomato, sorry. Flying tomato. <laughs> Do I, now I'm confused. There is jealous tomato and flying tomato. Medium large on this one. I don't know what the difference between those brands are. <laughs> a free people sweater size medium distressed lightweight brown and blue stripe it's got an open knit on the sleeve size medium the bar says we the free I still put free people that's just a choice I make because I don't know how many people are searching we the free or intimately free people maybe if they're looking for a very specific piece they'll search we the free but I'm going to go in here to the inside material tag and I'm going to find the OB number and I'm going to Google it OB number 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 and I'll get the style name so that if someone is looking for a specific piece they can also find it by style. <laughs> Ooh, this is a really really good brand. I've only found it once and the piece I found was a woman's. But this is Untuck It in an extra large. This is a cool men's brand. I thought it was men's, but they do make a limited amount of women. So Untuck It, an extra large linen shirt. Fantastic. Oh, these are good. This is a Bolo 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 Arcteryx. Look at that spelling. It's weird. I found two, not one, but two men's hats, a black and a blue look at these bloomers actual true bloomers and the brand is urban prairie girl i wouldn't be surprised if these are worth something because prairie is a great style i might add in cottage core romantic you wear these like under your dress skirt or tunic linen too so that's cool this is that other pair of REI co-op leggings, so I found it in a size large black and a size large whatever that other one was, brown. Okay, the 80s are knocking. Boop, boop, boop. I don't know what that has to do. 
I found this belt. It's leather, and look at this. <laughs> uh, this might actually be uh, copper. I think it is. You can tell by that aging there. So I don't know what style this belt is. I don't know. I'm going to have to learn keywords. I'm going to have to figure out what this is. This is genuine leather, black. And then it has this closure, a little hook. Whoa, I love it. It's so good. <laughs> I want to try this on myself, but I'll sell it if I don't like it. It's a Levi's Extra Large. This is called a Western Chambray. I don't know how you guys say that. CH Chambray, Chambray. A lightweight denim, but it also has this Western thing going. Why do you say that, Quimby? Because of the cut of the stitches is very Western. And it also has this, which is called a pearl snap. So those are all great keywords. Levi's Women's Extra Large Top Denim Chambray Western Pearl Snap Short Sleeve. There you go. Oh, I got these for myself, linen napkins. I'm like a linen crazy person. <laughs> I would sell them because they're sur la table. But, which is a great cookware expensive store, Sur La Tab. It's spelled like table, but in French you say tab. Um, but there's only three. Three, I was looking everywhere. I asked the people around, hey, if you see any of these linen napkins, I wanted a set. But no one wants three, so I guess they're staying with me. This is a bolo within the brand J. Crew. This is a bolo within the brand J. Crew. They're velvet blazers. Velvet blazers in the brand J. Crew do well. If it says schoolboy, that does well too. This one, someone cut the size out, so I wasn't sure if I should get it, but the velvet blazers do so good. I think I will just say extra small and measure it. Burgundy velvet. And I don't know if this is the schoolboy either because I don't see that tag there, but tags have obviously been cut off. There's a tag in here. Dry clean. That doesn't help us. Anyway, if you're out there and you see Velvet J. Crew blazers, look them up. Here's another Daniel Rain. I got this because it's an XL. This one's not new with tag, but a similar style. They all kind of look like this. They're all kind of have lace crochet detailing. They're usually the silky polyester. That's probably a $15 item right there. I went back and forth about this because it's just Urban Outfitters, but I say, Quimby, one, you love this. It's a cropped chunky sweater and then I thought well I can use the keyword rainbow because it's got this striping and the rainbow is a very popular style and it's cropped and it's balloon sleeve so I'm like mm, I don't buy a lot of Urban Outfitters but I'm gonna buy this piece and I'm gonna say Urban Outfitters cropped sweater size small rainbow balloon sleeve and I think someone might really like it. This is a cool brand, but I was hesitant because it's white. This is Cinch Modern Fit. Now this tag, this bar tag that you see here, it's either a dry cleaning tag. It could also be from like Rent the Runway and stuff that they barcode their items. So uh, this is a good brand. It's an oversized white uh, shirt, women's shirt. Feels like really good quality. I hope I don't find stains on that. We're getting closer to the end of the haul. I still have a handful of things to show you. Thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate you. Talbot's Extra Large Petite 100% Cotton Shirt New Tag. Love this color too. This rusty brown. Talbot's in the large sizes does great. Oh, it was only $28.50 in the store. I thought it would be more than that. So maybe I'll just list it for $19.99 or $17.99 or something. There we go. What is this yellow thing? Yellowy orange. More free people. Size medium. Super oversized. Swing top. Just the shape and style of that. V-neck. Tangerine orange oversized swing top. Ooh. I have a kid's item. It's probably good if I bought it. Mini Bowden, 18 to 24 months, little striped railroad stripe overalls. Oh, you're so cute. You're such good quality. Mini Bowden. 
What are you? Oh, this is vintage Johnny Was. Don't get all excited. Cause it's not like a crazy. I wonder if people like collect these though. A vintage crop Johnny Was t-shirt. Look at this old tag. Johnny Was. <laughs> and look at the embroidery. That's the embroidery. It's like a patch. The camera's sort of washing it out, which it often does with black, but it's not faded. It's a cropped boxy t-shirt. I have no idea what the market is for something like this. One size fits all. That's a lie. 100% <laughs> cotton. I just wonder, like there, I consider myself a Johnny Was collector. I am a true fan. I have many, many pieces. I've never bought one full price in the store. Um, I find them at the thrift stores. People have found them for me. My mom's found me a few. Well, two, I think. And I've bought them on Poshmark and eBay for myself. So I just wonder if there's collectors because this cotton feels amazing. I don't know. It's still cool to find, right, guys? These are some Prana women's shorts in a size XL. Elastic waist, nylon-y, hiking, camping, outdoor yoga shorts. This is very cool. I pick up stuff like this at the bands. This is a vintage belt. Kind of western style with stitching. I couldn't read in the store. I wonder if I can read it now. It's got this brass buckle. Yes, solid brass. I recently sold a belt where the buckle said solid brass on it. And I honestly don't know whether people wanted the belt or just the buckle. Because it sold for like 25 bucks and the belt was not in great shape. Kind of like this one is not. If it doesn't have a size, I just measure it. I'll measure the length and the width in my photos. Someone might just want the solid brass buckle on that. So cool at the Benny Bins. These are some jogger pants by REI Cooperative. REI Co-op, size medium. These look so nice. I might try these on for like when I go to the coast with Petey. Elastic waist, nylon pants. And this little item, I think I'm going to give this to my sister when I go back to Boston. It's a gorgeous scarf. She loves scarves. And it's got a velvet, like a blue velvet ombre. It is like gorgeous. This doesn't have a name brand on it or anything. Feels like silk and velvet. Truly gorgeous. We did it. If you could see the mound of clothing in front of me, you'd be like, wow, you got all that for $150. Incredible. Thank you for being here. I can't wait to chat in the comments. So be sure to say hi there. And I'll see you in the next video. I appreciate you. Bye. Here's my pillow falling off. There, you want to look at my pillow <laughs> and my quilt? I love the way these look, but they don't really make sense for actual sitting. <laughs> Sometimes it's like, I just get so excited to do the video and share stuff with you guys that I leave the water across the room, then I gotta pause and go get it. So I thought, Quimby, be smart, bring the water right over. And I did. Okay, this is Daniel Rain. How do you guys do with this brand? It is sold at Stitch Fix. If you've ever done Stitch Fix, it is very expensive. I find it new with tags with Stitch Fix tags. Stitch, <laughs> Stitch Fix. And I did Google. No, I didn't Google. It wasn't Googling. <laughs> okay, the 80s are calling. Well, I was going to knock, so you can't say calling and knock. I should have said 80s and knocking. Let me do it again. <laughs> okay, the 80s are knocking. Boop, boop, boo. I don't know what that has to do. I have so much to say. It's practically like bubbling out. <clears throat>